She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christy. If you are new here, then I really appreciate if you'd consider subscribing, liking this video, and of course commenting down below anything that you guys would like to see in the future. So um, in today's video, I'm actually going to be doing an unboxing of a bag that I recently purchased. I know I just uploaded a haul. I'll link it up there and or below down there and in that video I mentioned that I'm not the type of person who will buy a lot of things for myself but I did buy this a little bit over a month ago I'm gonna consider this a birthday present to myself um, because I think I bought it at the end of July and I'm just now you know recently doing an unboxing for it so yes let's start with the box this is the box that it comes in it's by the brand Senrev I open it up they give you a shopping bag you know for the full experience this just says a white bag that says Sun Sunrev on it, which is the brand again. There you go, Sunrev. Um, and then it's just a little card and my receipt maybe, my invoice. Yeah, it's just my receipt and how much I paid for it and proof of purchase and uh, that is an authentic Sunrev bag. I'm going to save this of course. Here's the dust bag that it comes with. So the reason why I decided to purchase this bag was because I think that I got a good deal on it. I think I saved a lot of money with it. It's also a bag that I've been eyeing since I was in college. It was from one of the Lux YouTubers I watch here on YouTube. Um, and it's just like a really cute functional bag. Um, and let me just sort of, you know, give a little bit of detail about it. And sorry, I am looking at my phone. I have like some notes on here. So Senrev is a brand that was developed by women for women who do it all so you know just a multi-use and multi-functional bag that's you know cute that can also be used in a um, professional um, setting let's go ahead and take her out of the desk bag and for this style bag there's actually three different sizes and I decided to get the um, the smallest one this is the mini there's a midi and then there's a maestro which is the really really big one um if you do want to use this for like work and you have to carry like a laptop and stuff this will not fit it i believe you'd have to get the biggest um bag so let me also go over some other details about the bag like isn't it so cute i know it's um it might be like a little too boxy for some people but i personally like it and i, I think it's very cute and i really like how i can um, wear this bag. I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but you can wear this bag four different ways. So yes, it's just very versed and it's very sturdy as well. So the bag that I got, um, it's the mini, as I said, it's the smallest size, the mini Maestra. It's in the color Noir and OIR. I believe that's just their color for black. And then the material that I got it in is in the pebbled leather. I personally like the pebble finish. Um, and I also do know that pebbled material is very durable. So this is just a closer look at it. So you guys can see. And here, then here's like the back of it as well. So not only is this bag 100% Italian leather, it's also scratch resistant and waterproof resistant, which means that I can use this in, in the winter time or in the rain and I wouldn't have to, you know, worry about it because it's supposed to be waterproof and scratch proof so it's like a carefree bag essentially i also like how like discreet that their branding is the embossing of the senrev if you guys can see here it's very small it's very discreet it's not like too in your face which is another thing that i like about this bag so the mini starts at 695 um, the mid medium size, which is the midi, starts at $7.95 and then the biggest bag at um, $8.95 for the biggest bag. So, how much did I get for this bag? So, my friend actually had a coupon code to give me to get $100 off, I believe. And not only that, I also used this thing called Ebates or Rakuten. It's called Rakuten now, where I also got 3% cash back. I got this bag for $526. $526. I know that's a lot 
I literally just uploaded a video where I said that I don't like to spend money for myself. I guess when I do, I really, 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 really have to want something. And I'm also a really big saver. So I wasn't, you know, just charging this on my credit card and not paying it off. I have the funds for it. But that's the reason why is because I was saving $100 and I got cash back with using Rakuten. And I also got an additional 3% cash back using my credit card because my categories for my 3% is within online shopping. I think I did the math. I actually got this back for like $496. So that was my justification for keeping this bag. And then when I got it, I just, at first I was kind of eh about it just because of the price. But the more that I looked at it, the more that I knew I wanted to keep it. Let's kind of talk about like the size of the bag. Again, this is the smallest bag. I am going to show what I keep in the bag as well. The base of this is about 8.5 inches. The width on the top, which is like right here, it's about 11.5 inches and the height it is about 7.5 inches as well and the weight of this is about 1.8 pounds which might be kind of heavy um if you think about it because when you add things to it it's just going to you know get heavy but i don't think i carry too much things with me so i think it'll be okay so if you open it up like this there's a zipper i see so that's also another thing I really liked about this bag because I was looking for like a bag, a new bag that I could buy. Um, and I really like liked how this one has a zipper because I just feel like it's, you know, more secure for your items that you're going to be putting in here. When you open it up, uh, this is what it looks like. Like this. So there's um, several um, compartments for you. There's like one bag here that's meant for your notebook and maybe your iPad two pockets right here and then there's two more pockets right here and then there's another like zip closure right here if you guys can see i'm going to just show what i would keep in here on a daily basis first things first there's no particular um order i have this little pouch that i keep in here it's just a pouch that has you know all my essentials pads chapstick hand sanitizer all that stuff next will be this portable charger that i have um, this is from the brand Away. I don't know if you guys can see that. From the brand Away. Um, this is not mine. I took this from my sister. So if you are watching this, um, thank you. <laughs> I don't know if you know that I have it or not, but I do. And then here's my agenda. Here is a Kindle that I keep in here as well. Oh, I also forgot to mention that there's also this little like thing that you can like put your keys or something on. Personally, I keep my earbuds in here. It's in this really cute toothless um case <laughs> so i'm just gonna attach this to the ring just so that i don't lose it so it's always there next thing that i keep in here is going to be my work id but i'm not gonna show it but it's attached to this cute baymax <laughs> key holder keep my card holder in here it's just a saint laurent card holder this card holder was actually my first luxury and designer purchase that i made on my own so this bag would technically be my second luxury um item that i purchased for myself yeah i don't think i have anything else that's super nice but yes if anyone cared i really do love this card holder like i get so happy when i use it it's just so pretty like, every time i pull out i'm just like ah, wow i'm so happy that i made this purchase I keep my glasses case in here um, because I do wear glasses. I have this pack of floss. I'm trying to get rid of using these plastic ones and trying to find one that's like more eco-friendly. So if you have any recommendations for that, let me know. Please do let me know in the comments down below. My keys. This is what my keys look like. I actually keep my keys in this little pouch. I know it's annoying to, you know, go in and out of it, but... Um, so I keep my keys in here. So when I get to work or wherever I'm going, I'll like take it out, put it in here, zip it up and put it back in the bag. It's just because I don't want to scratch the inside of this bag. Since this was a very expensive bag, I want to keep it as pristine as I can. Um, and yeah, that's kind of everything that fits in the bag. So let me go ahead and maybe show it to you guys. There's like a little overview of the bag. Um, I'm on my desk and I'm only using one hand. So I'm going to try to show what's in here um, with the best of my ability. So back here um, in the little section, 
it's my planner. Oh, it's my planner. And then it's my Kindle. But oh, there's my work ID that has a little slot. I keep my floss right here as well. Again, please, if you have any alternatives to these one-use plastic ones, please let me know in the comments below. Next thing is just my Ipsy bag that I have that has all my, you know, essentials, my keys, pads, pens, um, everything like that. My glasses case, my headphones that are attached to this. Here are my headphones again. Super, super cute. And then if you flip the bag over, so this is like the other side. Um, again, my charger and then my wallet. There is another zipper right here that you can put something in it, but um, I don't know what I could put here. Maybe I can keep um, extra hair ties and maybe pads. Not pads, but like Advil or anything just for um, emergencies. That would be a good idea, actually. It says made in Italy right there. But yeah, that's what fits in the bag. I'm sure, you know, something else. Maybe it's not going to fit in there. Unfortunately, like a water bottle could fit in here, like a normal size water bottle. But I think you have to put it sideways and then that will definitely make the bag a lot more heavy. So you guys saw everything that fit inside of the bag. That's what I would keep in here on the daily. I know that my camera could also fit in here along with a tripod, but I can't show that because I'm actually using it to film myself right now. But that could also fit in here as well. And personally, I don't think it's too heavy. Maybe I'm just used to carrying backpacks. Perfect. All right, so I can go ahead and finally cut off the tag now. I've been wanting to do that for a while. So one way you can wear this bag is going to be just to wear it over your shoulders. The next style in which you can wear this bag is going to be as a crossbody. Um, this is what it looks like. Um, yeah, sorry, I'm trying to be a model over here, but that's not happening. So the next style in which you can wear this bag is going to be as a backpack. So all you need to do is just pull down the straps like that and then just throw it over your back as you would for a backpack and again i know that this is a little bit more on a squarish side but i personally think it's kind of cute now the very last way to style this bag is going to be to wear it as a top handle personally i don't think i'll be wearing it um, like this as often but you know you do you if you made it this far into the video then thank you so much for watching if you do like videos like this again i do apologize this may be the last unboxing for the year maybe i don't know i don't want to say that actually if you like videos like this then please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and of course comment down below anything that you'd like to see in the future um but yes all right bye thank you so much for watching she's a mona lisa everyone's lining up to see her.